Hi knitters, welcome to PJ Knits. This is a knitting podcast where I talk about a lot of my knitting and things that I buy, things that I want to knit, and other knitting related things. So thanks for uh, tuning in. I am podcasting from my back seat in um, one of our local parks in their parking lot. And it's a beautiful sunny Friday afternoon, um, September 24th. And we're into fall here and there's still a lot of green. So we're just starting it off, but it's beautiful outside. Nice and sunny. And uh, here we are. I decided to come out to the park and podcast from my back seat because it's quiet. And um, just to see how this kind of sort of worked going forward. Anyway, welcome to PJ Knits. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And if I didn't say it at the onset, my name's Penny. And uh, welcome back. So let's get talking about some... Uh, Transitional sweaters because that's where we're at um, Summer of a lot of things finished up and so we'll have some prizes But I just brought along some transitional sweaters that I wanted to share with you um, Today because here in central Illinois at least uh, we have a, a You know we can have a couple of months of warm weather um, And we can also have a weather where it starts out and it's very cool in the morning and then goes into um, warmer in the afternoons and, and sunshine so there's a lot of potential for wearing sweaters but there's also that kind of transitional period that um, I'd like to knit for as well and I have um, right now I don't think I'm going to be knitting on any more transitional sweaters because I'm really geared into fall and winter getting some uh, going because I have uh, quite a few but I want to share some with you first of all the one that I'm wearing is not necessarily a transitional sweater but it works really well um, and it is I've talked about it on the podcast before it's called Snowbell top and I purchased the line of yarn from a knitting place uh, a couple of months ago and um, I've talked before about it how I really like this yarn I particularly like this sweater I made it a little bit longer sleeves so that it would um, transition easily enough for me to put a sweater, um, another sweater over or a lightweight jacket. And so I finished Snowbell and it's from this book, Sandiscarn. And I've talked about it before. I'm really loving it. I've worn it a couple of times and it's in petroleum colorway. So I know that I'll be um, wearing it a little bit more into the fall. Just loving it, loved working the, I, I love working on those where you do the yokes down because you get all the interest and then you motor on down to the uh, stockinette stitch and then finish off the sleeves and you have a sweater so um, I'm really liking this one and I wanted to call your attention to it it's a, out of a nice yarn um, that transitions easily in from early spring summer and then into fall so uh, here we go I like that and I wanted to I wanted to tell you all about that one that is my first one my second one I want to talk about, this is called Fine Sand, and this is by Heidi Kermeyer. I've worn it before. Um, I, wore it, I wear it a lot in the um, early spring and also then in the, into the fall or even in the air conditioning because uh, it goes over t-shirts or sweaters again. This is called Fine Sand. It's a cardigan. Originally knitted out of Rowan Revive. Um, and it has all the colors in it, but an easy, easy knit. I'm a I'm really a fan of, um, of Heidi Kermeyer's patterns. Simple, fairly simple um, sweater to wear with sh some shaping. And I will say because it's hard to you know envision what these look like not on the body. Um, my Ravelry name is Penny J and I list all of my projects um, on my project um, pages and all of the modifications that I have made on it. And this is like a three quarter sleeve one but a really nice, super nice sweater um, for transitioning. And plus the yarn is not um, readily available anymore, which is sad because I really did like it. But it's a purple, perfect length. It has a little bit of a flare to it. And so again, this is Fine Sand by Heidi Kermeyer. And I, um, and if you can get a linen-y yarn for, um, you can get a lot of transition into that. So as I said before, um, Heidi Kermeyer, I'm a fan of that one. Second up, Sunshine Coast. This is another Heidi Kermeyer. Um, I originally knit this out of Queensland Savannah and I love this. I have a scarf um, in progress that I leave in my car. <laughs> 
so that I always have something to knit on. And here it is, just a simple little scarf, rib scarf, that I'm hoping that it will be ready for next spring that I can wear with my fine sand. And I love her treatment of the eyelets. And there's many patterns that Heidi Kermeyer has done out there that has this eyelet treatment. And just a simple raglan sleeve again. This one has some great shaping in it. We've talked about that before as well. Down the side, she has a couple of uh, tank tops that are very similar. And so you can see the shaping that goes down the side here as well. There you go. So this is fine sand. I did this uh, last year, I want to say, out of Queensland Savannah yarn. From, and I purchased that from my local yarn shop. And I love this. There you go. You can see that treatment. Like I said, the, turtle, the tank that she has also for summer has that same treatment going down the um, um, side. And I think it's very, very flattering as well. Okay. Next up in the transitional sweaters. Party top. I've worn this before. This is by Abby Knits. I knit it last year out of Julie Aslan Lazu DK. My first time ever using a Julie Aslan yarn and I love it. I love the feel of it. I love everything about it. Again, this was a one and I did do helical knitting on this after, after I could do on the body because it has just these cool eyelets and I cannot remember but I extended mine into at least three quarter sleeves as well. But it has this cool eyelets and also twisted rib which I'm not super fan of but I did it on it as well. And I love this one because it's easy enough to um, adapt. If you want short sleeves, you can do that. I've seen that. You can do it in crop. I made mine a little bit longer. And again, all of my notes are on my project page. But this is Party Top by Abby Knits, and I just love it. And like I said, what I did is I did helical knitting after I split for the sleeve because I wasn't real 100% on how to make that happen with eyelets on the sleeve. So. This yarn, this um, Julie Aslan yarn is very, very soft and cozy and I like it and a good transitional sweater for me way into, um, into fall. Next up, I've already, I've talked about this before, uh, probably in the spring, but this is the VBAC tee and another one that you can adapt to yarn um, composition. You know, you can do it out of woolly wool or um, uh, a lighter weight linen for summer and this is by Jamie Hoffman um, I use three Irish girls adorned Lux and I did the bracelet link sleeves is what I added to it I love it in wearing the v-neck in front and you certainly can do v-neck in the front or if you prefer the crew all along I thought that I would do the v-neck um, in the back and then when I tried it on I'm like this is much more flattering with me to have a little bit of a v-neck so there was some shaping to this some short rows but again I made it in uh, bracelet bracelet length sleeves because I knew that I really wanted to wear use this as a transition sweater into the fall and to haul it out um, in early spring to be able to wear it and I think it's conducive to a cream or off-white pants or white pants or even blue jeans um, now so really super like this one this was fun to do uh, enjoyed it and you you know I'm sitting here and um, there's so many cars going by here because there's a, a good day for people to sit out in the park and eat their lunches or go out and walk uh, around our lagoon that's out here that uh, people like to, to go to so if I if my face goes like this, it's like, I wonder where they're going to land. Are they going to be parking next to me and wondering what I'm doing? But anyway, so this is another one that I'm loving mainly for the yarn as well as for the uh, length of the sleeves that I did, that I used as well. So that's the VBAC T. Another one that is fun for transitional sweaters is Magellancho. This is by Shana Cohen, and I knit this a couple of years ago as part of her test knits. I love this for wearing it down at the riverfront. I've used multiple yarns on this. Two guys um, yarn I used for the peach and the aqua. And then this is La Hala, um, La Hoya, La Hala. <laughs> Ba yarns for the sleeves. And the thing I loved about this is you can wear this either way. And it is a modular poncho by Shana Cohen and I just love it. It is super fun for days like today 
down on the riverfront where you want to have a long sleeve t-shirt and you just want to throw this on and if you are not feeling for you can do it multiple ways and I, I um, encourage you all to go out and check out her um, patterns because she does a lot of modular things and I just love the way they they're garter and they're fun to knit and you never know what you know where it's going to go from there I put peach and um, aqua in there and then if I like the aqua for the day if, if, if I'm feeling aqua e um, maybe in the spring I can go that side and then maybe this fall in the orange so I love this because you can pull it on pull it off and uh, easily easily do that it had some good construction some welts in it which I was my first time I had ever done those and um, anyway this is Magellan Magellancho by um, Shana Cohen and check her out perfect transition sweater another super one next up is Uzo this is by Thea Coleman and I used uh, Magpie Fiber Solstice DK this is a little cardigan thing um, again transitional sweaters early spring early fall this can be worn with over a short sleeve t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt or a turtleneck and I just love the um, look of it it has some great detail on the back and I use the yarn that she called for and it it appears if you're looking at it it appears like it's um, pilling but it's not that's the consistency of the yarn that she used for it and it has this great pretty easy lace pattern across the back and then also on the pockets and then a rib as well and this one's just super cool it gives you a little bit of uh, warmth over and like I said easily um, adaptable to spring summer and into the fall and even into the winter over a turtleneck so I just love this one love the yarn I saw the yarn at stitches Midwest a few years ago and I knew that I wanted to make the pattern and I wanted to make it exactly out of the yarn that she used as well so this is Uzo and loving that one as well Next up is the super simple summer sweater. I'm calling it number two because I knit this and this will be perfect for later fall and into the winter all year long. This is by Vera Valamaki and I used, um, excuse me, step that back. This one is by Hohe and I uses, used the Retro Sario Mungo yarn out of it and I again made some alterations to make it um, a bracelet sleeve and I always do on my patterns because I have we've talked about this before because I have heavy arms I always have to make some modifications and again all of these modifications are on Penny J uh, Ravelry sh um, project pages for each of them and I used there you go and this is one this is going to be a wonderful one for um, a month or two six weeks eight weeks from now when it's a little bit chilly all the way into um, through winter um, as well so that this was my second one and when we talk about winter sweaters when it gets towards winter I will uh, show you my uh, first one that I knit that was not striped but all out of the same color out of a uh, yarn so um, more to come I like that sweater because you can do it with the stripe without the stripes do it with the stripes do it with different yarns and just make some um, ad adaptations so and then the last one that I'm going to share with you is pavement this one's by Vera Valamaki I made this again several years ago and this is out of Briar Rose Sea Pearl unfortunately the yarn has been discontinued but I I love it it's a fingering weight yarn and I knit this on a trip um, uh, in route back from Florida and I love this one not only are the colorways wonderful for fall but um, I'm really uh, liking it as well a nice easy knit there's some short rows and some garter stitch and again um, I can never remember if these were longer or shorter sleeves but I made them to fit and it easily fits me as well and I love this one as well so I'll be wearing it has a great this nice shoulder detail here as well so uh, this is a winner for me as far as uh, transitional knits are going so anyway I just wanted to share a few of those of my transitional sweaters with you give you some ideas of possibilities 
um, to be knitting for transitional sweaters. Um, and again, um, you know, depends on where you're living and what your lifestyle is. But I'm, I love transitional sweaters. I love this, as we all do, this time of year because then we can wear different things, right? Get out of our summer wardrobe. So anyway, um, next up is mail call and possible cast-ons. So I wanted to share with you a yarn that I got re um, some time ago. I follow uh, Kimberly, uh, Kimberly McAlendon on YouTube and on uh, Instagram. And she had a pattern that she did some time ago called Knit a Rainbow. And she did uh, a collaboration, I believe, um, earlier this summer with Cake Wools. And so I ordered the yarn to go with it because this is out of a DK. And I, didn't, I don't have a whole lot of DKs in my wardrobe, uh, sash, or in my wardrobe. And so I ordered yarn so that I could make my knit a ra rainbow out of this, out of cake wool. This is the dough, and this is in plumage colorway. And so I'm, I think after I get uh, one of my sweaters that's in progress done, I may knit this up. Because again, this will be perfect for into winter, as you can tell from the picture. And it's a good spring color, even if I decide to do it by then. So this is by Kimberly McAlinden. And I just love this yarn. Well, you knew I would as well. So that's a possible, um, possible knit to come. Let's put it that way. And I just love the little thank you that we get, you know, super, super cool. Okay, next up, mail call. One of the things that I did um, that I'm knitting in progress now with the knitting posse is I am knitting Gulf Stream pullover part of their knit along that they're doing by Beth, Beth McDonald Stone and I had a kit that I got from um, a knitting place and this is my first time using Hudson and West forge yarn and so here is mine and again, this is another one of those where you're knitting at the top down and then it's all stockinette after that. And so I'm hoping to be have the body done soon. And again, this is part of um, the knitting posse. This is a um, knit along that they're doing now through, uh, I believe the end of October. So, And this is in Cabernet, Cabernet. And a color that probably some of you would say, oh, I don't know that that's anything we've ever seen her in. I have one other sweater in this colorway and I thought I would venture out. And so I'm looking forward to getting that one done. Again, that is the Gulf Stream pullover. And I am liking the pattern. Um, I have never done um, Beth McDonald Stone before, but I could see doing more of her patterns as well. Okay, for some knit along information here. The summer sweater season of the Top This 2021 KAL um, has ended because summer ended and we um, are uh, ready to make some uh, prizes available to some people. And be sure and post all of your sweaters on the PJ Knits Ravelry group going forward. We're gonna start doing some winter sweaters, post them there, and there'll be some giveaways along the way. The prize for this, for the summer sweaters that I has, um, been chosen um, is um, from our friend Debbie. She she is the giveaway, uh, the person that gave us the item for the giveaway, and it's a set of knitting barber cords in neon yellow. This is going to be the giveaway for the winner of the uh, third quarter season. And I've talked about those before. And the prize goes to Lacey Babe, which is Peggy. Um, check her rainbow mountain top that she put out in the Ravelry group um, for the um, third quarter of sweaters. Also, that is a hashtag top this 2021 KAL if you choose to um, post it on Instagram as well. We'd love to keep tabs on it that way, but be sure and do it in the group. That's where we'll be choosing the prizes from. The next KAL that ended for the, um, for the year is the hashtag Summer of Shawls 2021 because again, we've, uh, we've ended summer and this particular prize, if you remember, recall, 
is the one, the box from Wool and Honey. It's the bag and the yarn and the pattern. And that was part of their midsummer celebration. And that is going out to Pink Shawl Girl Susan. Please check her out on the Summer of Shawl thread. She's done some magnificent shawls this summer and she's been giving them to people who um, have done nice things for her. And she just wants to show her appreciation of them. So um, check those out. My, I've got a finished object to show you. Um, this is the Grand Canyon shawl. This was part of a pattern and yarn that I got from Kick, uh, um, Knit Circus back in the day when they were doing a Kickstarter program. And I finished that up and wore it yesterday to hospice. This is done out of Knit Circus Greatest of Ease in the turquoise pool. A quick knit, uh, just a small little shawl, and like I said, I wore it yesterday already. So that's my finished object, my last finished object for um, summer of shawls. And so we'll be doing a fall for, fall for shawls as well um, going, going forward. Okay. I'm just looking around my back seat. This is kind of easy to do because everything's right here. Um, Oh, I have one more to share with you. We also have a little, um, this year going um, in Ravelry, a little group uh, thread that is called Mistletoes. That is for socks. And the third quarter prize for Mistletoes goes to Lindsay Ann, who did the Holiday Stripes by, DV, uh, by Desert Vista Dye Work DVD. She's going to get a little sock sack in um, her mail soon. So those are the um, wrap-ups for the summer um, knit-alongs. As I said, going forward, we're going to be talking about winter um, sweaters. We're going to talk about a kickoff for fall for shawls because it's fall and you, why not? Let's keep knitting those shawls through the fall. Let's don't stop now and we'll be talking about that. Um, and I have some shawls to show you as well. So who knows um, what else we can come up with. But anyway, um, that's it for this show. Um, I hope this comes off okay. I hope you are all doing well. Um, this summer for Shea PJ Knits has been a bit of a roller coaster. And uh, we've had our ups, we've had our downs, and and we hope that things just continue to, uh, or will start getting better and keep continuing on, on going better as well. We hope that you are all well and taking care of yourself, um, enjoying this next change of season. Don't you love it? I, I do. There's something about a change of season. You know, you can put off the um, old stuff and put on something new that's been a year since you've uh, worn it, or you can um, venture into some new knits. Um, I might, I, a lot of podcasters these days seem to be doing a lot of um, um, whip shows. And so I might show um, some of my whips that I'm planning on fall. I certainly will share you share with you my thoughts journal um, slash knitting journal that I have going in the next couple of episodes as well. So until next time, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Please like. Um, please um, and subscribe if you will and comment if you have some good comments to give or you want to know something. Um, I'd be um, more than happy to entertain um, something you want to talk about. Um, I also want to say think about your knits, your sweater knits that you're starting to cast on. Remember is this something that you want to knit and wear or is this something you think you should be wearing and knitting? Make those, those decisions first before you go out and, uh, and cast on the latest and the greatest. Um, you know, that's just, my, just my, my take on the whole thing. So be well, and until the next time, knit on with confidence and hope through all crises. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.